<laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, whether it's shelling out money for a movie, buying tickets to a concert, these days having a little fun can cost a bundle. That is true. But over the next few nights, you may be able to catch quite a show that doesn't cost anything. All you have to do is look up. News Channel 5's Rob Coles has some tips for anyone looking to do some stargazing. All you need is just a, a dark sky, and that's something that, you know, anybody can look up and then appreciate. At Vanderbilt's Dyer Observatory, there's plenty of pricey tools to help get a glimpse of outer space. This week, some items in your home could help you take in a spectacular sight for next to nothing. I'd recommend bringing a blanket so you can put out and just lay out on the ground or maybe a chair that reclines back so you're not having to, you know, crane your neck all night. Looking up for the Perseid meteor shower. Here, this is uh, a really nice simulation from meteorshowers.org, an annual meteor shower uh, caused by Comet Swift-Tuttle. Uh, uh, every year we pass through the, the debris stream left behind by this comet. A few days every August where meteors paint the night sky. It can be up to about 60 meteors per hour. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Dyer's director, Dr. William Teets, says the best time to see it in our area is in the overnight hours of August 12th and 13th. And after midnight, uh, the, the very early morning hours is probably going to be your best bet. To get a good view, you need to get away from city lights. He says you can use a light pollution map to figure out where to go, but you may not have to go too far away. You know, we're getting into kind of yellows and greens, and so light levels going down there, those are going to be some better areas. Teets says the moonlight may make things a bit harder this year. Either way, it's a chance to take in some beauty for free and even make a wish. And though there's no scientific proof that a wish made on a shooting star, aka meteor, will come true, you may want to have one in your back pocket just in case you see one in the next few days. I've already started making a list of mine. In Brentwood, Rob Coles, News Channel 5.